air stand and we can use a bongo stand if you have one. So right here, I have a bongo stand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take the part that holds the bongos out, okay? So let's take this part out, just bear with me here while I move this out of the way. So I take this off, let's put that down, and then I have just the open part of the bongo stand. Well, if you already have bongos, this is perfect. If not, you can get a bongo stand or a large snare stand. Then I'll take the snare stand and the bucket part that holds the actual drum I take out of the stand. And you know where I'm going with this? Can you see it? Can you visualize it? Now I put that right in here. And then I can just tighten up if I can get this far enough. Now this screw here may not go in far enough. And if it doesn't, like it's not doing now, well, there's a couple things you can do. Number one, you can just place this like this if it's high enough, but more than likely it may not be. The other thing that you can do is you can take either get a thicker, thicker snare stand or you take some thick duct tape, electrical tape, and wrap it around and then you can put it right in here and it will hold the snare stand perfectly. All right, I have my duct tape here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it a little bit thicker. And these are things that, you know, later on, you know, you may have to clean it up. It may, you know, gaff tape will probably be cleaner. Right now I have some duct tape, so that's just what we're gonna use. But, you know, this is these are like temporary solutions for a specific set that you're going to use. The great thing though, is that you may be able to get, if you look sometimes online, on eBay or on Guitar Center used, you can find, let's see if this is big enough. Ooh, look at that, yeah. Okay, sometimes you can find stands that are used for a very inexpensive price. All right, so we're gonna get this guy in here. I may have actually put too much, but this will be great. This is good enough for this presentation. So you're just gonna experiment, okay? You're just going to experiment with the amount that you need, all right? So let's get this guy in here, okay? And boom, we have a much larger, higher frame drum stand. All right. Okay, after all that rigmarole, I don't even know if that's correct. Trying to get this thing situated so I can show you. Now, obviously you can't play this sitting, sitting down, but you can play it standing up. Look at that, it's almost, it's at the perfect height for me. About 90 degrees there. Now I can play shakers. I have other stuff going on. So if you, you may be able to find a great deal on Reverb.com or Amazon or eBay, a guitar center used for a very large snare stand. And you just want to make sure your snare stand can fit the, the, um, uh, the cymbal stand. So if you have a cymbal stand and a snare stand, you can mount these frame drums just like this, either standing or seated. And the great thing about this is that you can get a a Mino frame drum or a Remo frame drum for under a hundred dollars. It sounds fantastic and You can probably find two stands for under a hundred dollars um, so you still have a, a, In addition, you could probably get a frame drum to say 40 bucks You got a snare stand for another 30 40 dollars boom. That's 80 bucks 90 bucks It's a lot less than two or three hundred dollars for a conga is it gonna sound like a conga? No, it's not. It's not going to be a conga, but it's a way to, to increase your percussion setup. And it's just some ideas that, that you can use. You may have seen some other percussionists use it. Now, let's move this out of the way and let me show you some ways that I may use the frame drum 
with a song in the beginning and you'll hear me play the frame drum in like a two or four type thing at first and then the beat comes in and you'll notice that it kind of adds you know, this is all subjective now but it adds a different level uh, to the song different textures with the frame drum or the hand drums and then the song come in okay and remember we can use the shakers on the hands these are all just little info nuggets that I just wanted to share with you so check this out let me know what you think. If you like this video, if it helps at all, don't forget to subscribe, hit like or a comment, and I'll see you soon.